So, um, I don't know if this was yesterday or whatnot, but Valve, uh, I saw in the update for TF2, that, uh, they released a new uh, cosmetic case, they did it twice for some reason, uh, TF2 blog and the product update, and they added uh, the summer 2019 cosmetic case, yeah? Well, as far as I can tell, uh, no one is getting those. And it's because everyone's opening uh, these crates. As you can see, they're being traded and uh, everything extremely quickly. The price of keys has been fluctuating a ton. It's been very high. And people are still buying them. And the reason is because with this update, these crates have a 100% drop rate for unusuals. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that's intentional, but um, it's what's happening. Uh, so yeah, if you open a uh, number 82, a number 85, number 83, number 16, uh, probably number 17, um, all of these crates will 100% of the time drop an unusual. And I was in a game, I was playing in a game, I'm still sitting in a game, idle, uh, not idle, but um, I was sitting in a game, you know, playing, and people were talking about this, and... They, people started unboxing, and sure enough, just unusuals. Every single time someone unboxed, got an unusual. And so multiple crates have been confirmed. There's some crates that don't do it. Thank, I mean, thankfully, I guess. Um, but at least these are known to be 100% drop rate, which is why they're just flying off the off the, uh, the store. As you can see, that one just went just 500, starting at 99. And people just keep... Uh, selling more and more and buying more and more because they're making tons of money tons of money off these uh, crates and it's because everyone thinks oh my god I could finally get an unusual and to be fair um, to be fair if, if if one person found this out then yes they would be making a ton of money but the problem is as you can see everyone's found this out and the only thing this is going to do is basically the same thing. There you go, Manco, number 85s. Um, basically, the only thing this is going to do is ruin the prices of unusuals. <laughs> basically, any anything from these crates is going to become useless. And uh, everyone and their mother can is going to be able to uh, have a good-looking shit unusual. Um, yeah. Unusual Hong Kong cone starting at 30 bucks, which is what? Uh, 13 keys, 14 keys. <laughs> yeah. TF2 really fucked this one up. <laughs> oh, God. I sent in a Steam off the uh, ticket on my idea to. Uh, Sorry, uh, to uh, fix the uh, oversaturation of ref in the TF2 economy. And then they go and decide to give everyone unusuals. Okay. Well, people selling crates are going to make a killing. I know that. Because this is. The, anyone selling uh, shit on the market, like if you're selling unusuals, people are quick, trying to quick sell unusuals on the market. Because some people are probably smart enough to know that uh, doing this is going to ruin the price of unusuals. And so they're trying to sell them right away so they can get that cash in their Steam wallet. This cash in their Steam wallet is set in stone. Yeah, TF2, TF2 pixels are obviously not. As in, you know, pe people are probably losing, might be losing thousands off this. Like, you know, some of these boxes could have God tier unusuals in them. And someone could be holding on. You know, some, what if someone had a one of one? And then all of a sudden it's guaranteed to get, get one, you know? Now people are just unboxing left and right, and that man's one of one. Uh, whatever is now worthless. Uh, yeah. Weird. This is uh, quite a fuck up by Valve here. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Team Forgers, too.